within the last week, Autodesk have released Inventor 2018.1, which is their first annual release for customers on subscription or with a perpetual maintenance contract. Unfortunately, the way things are nowadays, if you ain't giving Autodesk money every year, you ain't getting shit, son. You ain't getting nothing. So if you're on a hooky license, you're not getting this. You will never get this. You will never get this. La, 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 la. So you're not getting this unless you can find the download somewhere on a hooky website, which I, I do not condone. But uh, this is only available to people on subscription. Uh, back in the day, you would go to the Autodesk website, the knowledge base, and you'd select your product of choice, and there's all your updates and service packs. But nowadays, when you go to the Autodesk website for the latest version, there's nothing there at all. When you click the hyperlink here, there is just a README a bunch of readme documents telling you what's in their update so 2018.0.1 was the first hotfix 2018.0.2 second hotfix and this is the major subscription update uh, when you click that you just get a page with uh, what's in it the, the download itself's not here you have to go to your autodesk subscription account to get the download anyway we can talk about that till the cows come home whether that's a good thing or a bad thing that's for a different video what we're talking about in this video is this feature here which came with 2018.1 project objects as construction geometry it's great really great that autodesk are implementing stuff from the ideas area so this is customer feedback people log idea station stuff or the ideas area stuff it gets upvoted and then autodesk implemented it is great that they are doing this it's not a one-off they've been doing this for years and there's a few other autodesk product teams that could take note of how that's done so the Inventor team are absolutely amazing for doing that, taking customer feedback and implementing it into the product. And let's just ignore the fact that this video is being re-uploaded because your host is a complete retard. Uh, I've just uploaded this to YouTube and completely berated Autodesk for implementing this in the worst possible way, whilst all along it was me being a douchebag. I just didn't read. I just didn't read the web page and assumed they did it in a really bad way. Anyway, the command we're talking about is project objects as construction geometry. So I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to open up this front plate here. So when you do a sketch on a, on a face, right, and you do project geometry, click a line, click a face, click whatever, it projects the edges through as yellow lines. They're full, proper sketch lines. So if we project through this entire face, that's projected through dozens, probably hundreds of lines as solid lines, which when we click finish sketch, they now contribute towards being profiles for 3D objects. In some cases you want that, in some cases you don't, because you might be just projecting the lines through for reference. You might be projecting the edges through so you can draw additional cut holes to dimension to and from. But now you've got a whole bunch of additional profiles that when you do an extrusion, it's your cursor's jumping around, it's picking up things that you don't want to pick up. It's like, ah, don't want them. I don't want these profiles here. I, want, I just want them to be all referenced. So what you could have done in the past was edit that sketch, Right, we'll uh, we'll double click into that sketch. You could have you could have picked up all of these lines and went toggle them to construction, but you you had to do that every single time. All these bloody lines here, toggle them all, toggle them all, toggle them all, uh, and then you, that would have worked. That would have converted them to uh, construction lines. But you had to do that every single time. So that was the wish list. Instead of projecting them through as solid lines, project them through as construction lines. So Autodesk have went and delivered, and they've delivered it pretty goddamn well. Pretty goddamn well, actually. Uh, I'm going to take my hat off to them because uh, I screwed up. I'm re-uploading this and doing it properly. So the new function that we've got in 2018.1 is an application option. You go to File, Options, the Sketch tab, and you've got this box here, Project Objects as Construction Geometry. Now, you can tick this box. Now, this will now completely convert all, constru all lines that you project through to be construction lines. So it's kind of an all-on or all-off kind of a deal. In most cases, I would say do not do that. Do not select that application option. So I'm going to undo it, go back into the application options, and turn this off. Because what I didn't realize is Autodesk have implemented a toggle switch via this button here, which normally, when you toggle this, this turns lines into construction lines that you draw. But it also toggles your projected geometry to be construction lines. So look at that. We can now project construction lines. Let's undo that. So we'll do project. Click that. Click that. Click that. And that. There's your construction lines. Turn this off. And we can now toggle and project through full construction lines. Uh, full projected geometry lines. Well done. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. That is all I wanted. That was my complaint. Was that you couldn't toggle it. But you in fact actually can. Even better. Even better than this. Is that if you do have a 3D connection 3D mouse, 
you can open up your drivers, right, your 3D connection software. It's a little cube in the taskbar. Double click that. Go to your buttons. Click the button that you want to map. So I've got the, the enterprise device with, with too, too many buttons. <laughs> First world problems, but too many buttons. If you've got the one with just two buttons, you can do this. Although I'm sure those two buttons can do something more important than this. Uh, but you'd go to one of your buttons. So say, for example, button 10. And then we can search for construction. That's one of the genius things about the 3D connection devices. This is that they map to an API level. They map to actual buttons, functions with an inventor rather than keyboard shortcuts. So we can click the, I don't know why there's two construction, there was two of them, I don't know why that. But so button 10 is now construction line. So now on my device, if I press button 10, it's toggling that button on and off. So now I can hit project geometry, full, toggle, off, toggle, mm, toggle, off. Absolutely amazing. I present myself in front of the overlord Autodesk and beg for your forgiveness for being such an utter clampet. It works and it works brilliantly. Well done. That's a new feature for 2018.1. Project objects as construction. Toggle it with that button on and off. Uh, but unfortunately, as I did say at the start of this video, it's only available to you if you have a subscription account with Autodesk. That's the only way you're going to get 2018.1 legit. Unless, uh, I don't know, no one can stop you getting it through uh, illegitimate means if uh, that's your inclination. But... Uh, there you go. Project geometry as construction. Thank you very much. If you like the video, hit like, as they say. Uh, subscribe if you're not done already. And I'm teaching over on Plural Site, doing inventor and vault courses. If you want some of that goodness, head to the links in the description of this video where you'll see a link to a free trial on Plural Site. If you want to go over and see the couple of courses I've done over there and uh, the courses done by other such like people. Anyway, thanks very much. I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.